मेडिसिन इज वन एरिया विच इज ऑल सेट टू गेन लॉट ऑफ एडवांटेज फ्रॉम आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस गूगल हैज कम अप विद मेड जेमिनाई एंड हैज टेकन अ जॉइंट लीव टूवर्ड्स इन दैट डिरेक्शन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू दिस न्यू मॉडल फ्रॉम गूगल विच इज कॉल्ड एज मेड जेमिनाई गूगल has released this as a family of gemini models fine tuned specifically on the medical task this model has already achieved state of the art benchmarking on 10 of the 14 world's leading medical benchmarks which includes text multimodal and long context applications on all of these benchmarks this med gemini model has already beaten gpt4 which is something so this paper is super exciting before i delve into this med gemini let me give you a quick overview of the field at the moment medicine is a multifaceted endeavor a clinician's day to day work involves patients consultations where clear communication of diagnosis treatment plans and empathy are essential for building trust complex cases necessitates deeper understanding of the patient's history within the electronic medical record along with multimodal reasoning from medical images and other diagnostics to guide their decisions under uncertainty clinicians must stay abreast of the latest medical information from a wide variety of authoritative sources that can range from research publications to procedural videos the art of care delivery hinges on clinician's ability to perform advanced clinical reasoning synthesize complex information from diverse and multimodal sources and collaborate effectively with other clinicians to help people in their care journeys though ai systems can assist individual medical tasks and demonstrate early promise towards multimodal multitask generalist medical uses the development of more sophisticated reasoning multimodal and long context understanding capabilities would enable significantly more intuitive and helpful assistive tools for clinicians and patients alike and that is where the advent of this med gemini holds a lot of value the gemini models which i will also go in more technical details are a new generation of highly capable multimodal models with new foundational capabilities that have the potential to address some of these key challenges for medical ai the models are transformer decoder models enhanced with innovations in architecture optimization and training data enabling them to exhibit strong capabilities across various modalities including images audio video and text i have done various videos on the general gemini models on the channel if you are interested the recent addition of the mixture of expert architecture allows the gemini model to efficiently scale and reason over significantly longer and complex data at inference time so that is where this med gemini which is a family of model point tuned and specialized for medicine holds lot of water the idea of generalist medical ai model has received considerable attention with impressive demonstration of possibilities of such system and by the way this is not the only medical model i have covered a lot of them on the channel and the thing is while the generalist approach is a meaningful research direction for medicine the real world consideration present trade offs and requirements for task specific optimization which are at odds with each other so what google is doing in this new model they do not attempt to build a generalist medical ai system rather they have introduced a family of model each optimized for different capabilities and application specific scenarios considering factors such as training data compute availability and inference latency med gemini inherits gemini's founda <coughs> foundational capabilities in language and conversational multimodal <coughs> understanding and long context reasoning for language based task google has enhanced the model's ability to use web search through self training and introduce an inference time uncertainty guided search strategy within an agent framework this combination enables the model to provide more factually accurate reliable and nuanced results 
for complex clinical reasoning tasks. If you look at this diagram, this is the overview of the Google's contribution. They have introduced this Medgemini, which is a family of highly capable multimodal medical models built upon Gemini. They have enhanced their model's clinical reasoning capabilities through self-training and web search integration, as you can see in this diagram. While improving multimodal performance via fine-tuning and customized encoder, Medgemini has already shown a lot of promise. Medgemini models achieve state-of-the-art performance on 10 out of 14 medical benchmarks that span a lot of modalities, as I mentioned earlier. And if you look at this bar chart, and let me make it a bit bigger, I know it's a bit smaller. So there you go. If you look at this bar chart, this um, shows the relative percentage gains from their models over previous SOTA across the benchmarks. In particular, on the MedQA USMLE benchmark, they have attained a new SOTA, surpassing their prior best MedPalm2 by a significant margin of 4.6%. Also, re annotation of the data set with expert clinician reveals that 7.4% of questions are deemed unfit for evaluation as either they lack key information, have incorrect answer, or support multiple plausible interpretations. They account for these data quality issues to characterize more precisely the performance of their model. Medgemini models excel in multimodal and long context capabilities as shown by their SOTA performance on several benchmarks. And this paper is full of all of these results and I will drop the link in video's description. Now this diagram is about self-training and search tool usage, which I believe is one of the most salient feature of Medgemini. The left panel with self-training and with search shows the self-training framework used to fine-tune Medgemini L large one for advanced medical reasoning and use of web search. This framework iteratively generates reasoning responses with and without web search, improving, improving the model's ability to utilize external information for accurate answers. The right panel shows Medgemini L's uncertainty guided search process at inference time. This iterative process involves generating multiple reasoning paths, filtering based on uncertainty, generating search queries to resolve ambiguity, and incorporating retrieved search results for more accurate responses. Now look at this dialogue example. So the user is asking, that for the past few weeks, I have noticed multiple itchy lumps on my legs and arms, and you can. And then it is also, and then the model is asking, can you send me the picture of the lump? And then user has uploaded. Model has used his vision capabilities to check it out. And then it is asking further questions about new plants or allergies. And then it is just doing this dialogue with the user. And then similarity is going on and on and on. And then user is asking how to treat it and then model is giving some of the information now not only model is also telling it to user and I, let me also uh, very strongly suggest that models are not replacement of human doctors so make sure you don't blindly follow whatever is model saying anyway so and the dermatologist you know the real human has checked this response and dialogue of user and model and had suggested this pros and cons that additional photos of representative would strengthen the diagnosis and then the differential diagnosis could include something else too and then it is adding its own label data how good is that so similarly you can see this dialogue example where um, medgemini performs a two-step process for determining whether a patient has a history of a specific condition based on their extensive EHR records. Step one is retrieval. Medgemini identifies all the mentions of hypothermia and a uh, lot of other things in this one. And then it provides direct quotes from the various sources. And then in the next step, Medgemini evaluates the relevance of, relevance of each retrieved mention, categorizing them as explicit confirmation strong indication or relevant mention of the disease and based on this analysis the model concludes that the patient 
does have a history of that disease providing clear reasoning for its decision similarly again uh, the same thing which i mentioned here about hypothermia and then there is another uh, prompt where uh, it, this is an example of medgemini's long context capabilities and surgical video where medgemini m analyzes a video clip from the um, cloak 80 data set to assess achievement of the cvs during a laparoscopic something i don't control on that disease and the model assesses whether the three criteria defining the achievement of cvs are met so you can see all in all uh med gym and i can analyze the video they can analyze analyze the images they can go through the text they can hold dialogue with the user so if you go through this paper you will see a lot of use cases here as you see i mean this one and then keep going down and then all the medical mumbo jumbo is going on so all in all i believe that this is simply groundbreaking result as usual by google and this is going to go a long way and then i think this is going to be great when everyone would access to universal healthcare and we don't have to really suffer through the pain this this is going to resolve a lot of things in my humble opinion that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching